I've made jokes too early before and they just because I was afraid someone else might say it, you know, a pun that was really clever that came up to me and you just like bite to say it, it before wasn't, somebody else does. It wasn't worth it. All right, so timer. Today we're talking about SDRs taking ownership over their actions, right? Yeah. Do you want to introduce the, the platform a little bit, what we're doing here? Yeah. yeah. So we've here. got five minutes. As you can see, the timer is counting down right now to each of us. We make an argument, Alex and myself, um, around the validity of SDRs taking action for the prospecting that they're doing, or if they want to fall back on like, hey, my manager asked me to reach out or like, oh, my VP really wants to get in touch with you. So I think we're probably going to agree on a lot of things, <laughs> but at the same time, Devil's Advocate's a ton of fun. So um, Alex, start us off. What's your opinion on the idea of SDRs kind of relying on the uh, the authority of their managers? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it definitely, it sounds like a good idea on paper. I yeah. think that, right, an SDR is like, I don't have a lot of clout. What do I, oh, my manager. Manager's a big title. Exactly. My director told me to reach out. My VP told you to reach, you know? But in reality, all that's doing is, in my opinion, lessening the, the perceived value of the SDR according to the prospect, right? If, if, if mm -hmm. I receive an email, that's like my manager has to reach out. My immediate thought is well, why didn't your manager reach out then? Like why right. did like, he not good do enough? his like dirty work, his or her dirty work, you know? So um, I, I, I get it. I understand why it happens, but I, I don't think it's something that should be really utilized, I guess, yeah. as an opening line. There's a, I, there I are so many better options. There's, there's a lot of like, imposter syndrome associated with this. Like if you're an SDR, it's really easy to think of yourself as just an SDR. Um, and shout out to Jason Bay at Blissful Prospecting. He gave me this tip uh, a while ago, but there's like this little voice in the back of your head that when you're an SDR, say you're reaching out to like a VP or C-level title, you have that voice in the back of your head that's like, you're not good enough. Like you, you don't deserve to get a meeting with this person. You're just an SDR. Uh, the coolest thing that that I heard that he said to sort of combat that is to give that voice in your head a ridiculous accent or a character of some kind. So if you have that voice pop up every once in a while, imagine that it's Borat and it's Borat <laughs> telling you that you aren't good enough because you will never take them seriously. So if you're like writing an email to someone and you're like, oh, hey, my manager asked me to reach out in the back of your head, you're like, that's right. Like, yeah, you're just an SDR. If it's Borat, it's like, you're just SDR, you're not good enough. And you're like, that's ridiculous. Of course I'm good enough for this. Borat can't tell me what to do. And it's it's huge for your mentality to change how you envision yourself as an SDR and how you envision like the value that you're going to bring this person. Because if you do fall back, like you're saying on your manager to use that clout, then it's like, it gives off this air of like, my manager is too good for you, or you're not good enough for me to the prospect as well. So like, you wanna, you wanna like, say, I think that this is valuable to you. I found your profile on LinkedIn. I did the research. I got all of the information necessary to understand that my product can help you. And that's like yeah. what you want to convey. You don't want, yeah. you know. I mean, be careful about talking about yourself too much, but but the point you're making, yeah, is is all about giving yourself the value, showing that you put in the work. You're, you're reaching out because you did the research, et cetera, et cetera. Is yeah. Borat, was that the voice suggested to you or is that just the one that popped in your head? Because I no, thought- that, that was the voice suggested to me. Um, <laughs> so I, what voice would you have? Would, would your back of the SDR head voice be? Um, honestly, Borat's a pretty good option. The One of the other ones I thought of immediately was Homer Simpson, just mm -hmm. because when he, when he speaks, I can't ever take anything he says seriously necessarily. Like it's, especially if it's something that's like a, a, a put down, I'm like, look at you. Come on, Homer, give me a break. <laughs> what, what would your voice be? I was trying to think. There's some good voices out there. Um, Mickey Mouse would be hilarious. That would be solid. <laughs> oh! Like... Mickey Mouse crash. Um, <laughs> Don't use that subject line, you idiot. <laughs> well, okay, now maybe listen to yourself a little bit. Like if you're... <laughs> yeah, I do, I do think that um, it, it is super helpful to sort of get over that like basically imposter syndrome that a lot of SDRs have, um, why they rely so much on the cloud of their managers or VPs or whatever. But like, if you really think about it, you're reaching out to someone to help them. And if you think you can help somebody, you can inject a ton more passion mm -hmm. into the message you send them versus falling back on that perceived cloud of somebody else in your organization. So 
Yeah, nice. and, and the last point I want to make if I have time here is it's also on the manager or the director of the VP who's telling, because they're the one telling them to do this. A lot, it's not a lie, My man, most of the time. My manager asked me to reach out. They did, but it doesn't give the value to the, put the right value on the right person in the outreach. So um, yeah, it's on managers too, but an SDR doing work you should be doing all of their own work, not trying to pawn it off on anyone else. Fine, so do you have one last, I know you kind of just made your last. That was it. That was the end. I, can, I talked over the end, so you don't, you can't rebut. That's fine. my whole plan. I'm gonna get my last, my last word in here before. It's against uh, the rules. No, go ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Don't do it. If you're an FCR and you're looking at an email and you're trying to reach out to someone who's like a C level, instead of falling back on your manager or VP or whatever, the best thing you can do is just expert research. Just make your case stronger by knowing more about your prospects, their challenges, their pains, and how you can help them versus falling back on somebody else. Last word. Oh, graphic. I thought you said, I thought you thought I said giraffic. <laughs> Wait, like a fantastic giraffe? Or like terrific giraffe like. Oh. Like, oh, it's giraffic. <laughs> or it's someone who's, who, who is trying to remember that movie with dinosaurs and that park. <laughs> yeah. Jurassic Park. <laughs>